welcome back to my channel. So today we are here for a slightly different video. If you don't know who these wonderful people are, these are two of my best friends. This is Chanel. Hi. This is Alex. And this is Luna. You guys know who this is. This is, this is my dog. But today we are going to do a non-fitness themed Q&A. It's going to be a little bit fun. We're going to do some face masks and drink some wine. Just let loose. No holds barred. We're doing this. Glam Glow Power Rangers face mask. We got it because it turns gold on your face. And we like gold. And wine. So we're like, yeah. You're not in, you need to come close. Oh, sorry. Come close. Oh, sorry. Oh. Come close. All right. So. So we like gold. Yeah. We like gold. We like gold things. Yes. Shiny. So we're going to Shiny. pour up some wine. Let's do it. Get some masks let's, on our faces. Let's wrap this up. Let's get some wine. And go hard. All right. So. This was inspired by the fact that yesterday we went to Hubert's, which is a pumpkin patch slash orchard, and we got this wine. It's super oh my good. gosh, so good. It is sweet Marcella. It's a sweet red wine. It's very, very sweet. So, we are gonna. <laughs> the balloon is right. She's nippling. About to get. Okay, yeah. that's one. About to get bent. Yeah. Hello, bent. All you're, you're the lush of the group. Yeah. I am. Alright, we gotta do a commemorative clink. Oh, yeah. I already cheers into it. I'm terrible. What are we cheers into? Our first YouTube. <laughs> Our YouTube. first YouTube trio. Yes. 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 Well, it's like a four way <laughs> with Luna. <Yeah. laughs> She's the like, hey, can I have some? Yes. It's pretty gold. Ooh. It's like the best highlight, really. First question was how did we all meet? We got this question numerous times. Gosh, I she wants to fire. Y'all know how Chanel and well, I met already. Yeah, I was about to say, we met, we met through the internet. Yeah, through the internet told us we moved into the same city cool. together. Yeah, people were like, hey, you and Chanel Collette should do a collab. And I was like, who's Chanel Collette? And yeah. here's And I, like, I knew of Emily because mm -hmm. a couple of my clients competed with Emily in uh, a competition where she was Wonder Woman. It smells like coconut. This is like a spa. Yeah. Like a couch spa. Yeah. If that was a thing. And then I met Alex. Almost a year ago, we're coming up on our friend anniversary. I met yeah. him at Creative. Oh wow, that is in my hair. I met him at Creative Mornings, and we were instant friends. Yeah. How did I meet and you, we Alex? Just at the gym? At um, yeah. Well, I used Sam? to see Chanel at the gym, and I was like, "That's the hottest girl at the gym. She has the best body ever." <laughs> and then I um, was knee deep in prep. Morgan and Keone like, and I would always like look at you. And we were afraid to talk. Well, so I think Morgan may have been the first person to actually talk to me. Then. No, I was. I know you have the um, the cable row, and I was like, you can have it. I'll move. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Didn't know we would end up being workout partners. I know. Whoa. This is great. If you could be on any reality TV show, which would you be on and why? Give me your face. That's not a reality TV show. Um, reality TV show. Mm -hmm. I like. I know it's not reality, mm -hmm. but it like. Kinda is the hills. Oh, I, uh, throwback. I'd be best friends with Audrina. Oh yeah, I remember. Good time. Oh. Was it, I thought the hills was reality, no? Or was that? It was definitely scripted. Yeah, yeah it was. Really? Well, they're all scripted, but right. I would be this, that was like the most scripted. I feel like I would be on the Kardashians. I would be on Real World from MTV. That is real old school. I just told my age. Like nobody. On um, Cribs, who because then maybe I would have enough money. To, like, oh. You know, I'd be rich or something. See, if I was on the Kardashians, I would definitely have enough money for anything. Yeah, yeah the Kardashians have enough money for okay, everything else. What? You want it in your no, mouth? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. If you could only eat one type of cheese for the rest of your life, what type would it be? Oh my Gouda! <laughs> <laughs> oh my Gouda! <laughs> I would eat Chevron. Goat cheese. Chow? Yes. Um, I would eat free. <laughs> Ooh, if you had to pick a spirit animal for each other. For each, for each other? other? Yes. Oh. Um. Emily would be an armadillo. <laughs> <laughs> because, I'm sure to see behind that. because I don't really understand them. And Emily, <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Isn't that an armadillo that they played ball with in El Dorado? I mean, one of my favorite Digimon was an armadillo. Ooh. So oh, it's like it's a kind of this compliment. This isn't an offensive thing. Yeah. You're a squirrel. Squirrel. I definitely am a squirrel. You're a squirrel. 
we'll be training sometimes and I'll, and I'll be like in the middle of a set and I'll be talking to him or needing him to spot me or something and he's like halfway down the gym already. Squirrel. It's I feel like some type of dinosaur, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, dinosaurs Thanks. Are I know I'm like half your age, but I mean, I mean, like tenth of, I don't know. Um, a little older. Little, little older, older, but I'm not a dinosaur. Maybe like a Velociraptor, because she's pretty. Yeah. Like, you don't want to mess with her. Like, <laughs> true. You don't. Yeah, you don't want to be afraid of me. <laughs> but like, she's your favorite, but you don't mess with her. Who makes the best oatmeal? This one. Like, hands down. I don't make oatmeal, that's disgusting. <laughs> he hates Everything oatmeal. Everything about the process of making oatmeal is weird. Um, I like wet oats, like an overnight <laughs> oats. I like wet oats. I do. <laughs> overnight oats, you know. Okay, that's still oatmeal. Um, so what's your favorite nut butter? Nut butter? Crunchy nut butter. peanut. Hmm. Simple but Probably. I like cashew butter. Mm -hmm. I'll take either crunchy or creamy. Cashew butter is just enough. Yeah, I. Butter. I like cashew butter. I need some full nut. Sun, sunflower? Is that a nut? Sunflower, yeah. That's what Jared has to have because he's allergic to all nuts. Is it? <laughs> I had to get my tongue cut underneath so I could actually stick my tongue out when I was little. Ooh. I could almost oh, stick like it out a like, little. Yeah, I could almost uh -huh. stick it out like this far. Uh... <laughs> What do Wait. Chanel Collette and King Carnivale do? <laughs> um, <laughs> for a living? <laughs> Underwater basket weaving. Yeah. For a living? I don't know what I do. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm still trying to figure that one out. <laughs> and I live in a hermit on my computer and I don't do anything either. <laughs> I don't, that's, yeah. We, I'm always working. Get our yeah, now I'm more comfortable. Wow, my face is so tingly. Mm -hmm. Oh. This is an eternal debate my friends and I always have when we get together. Ooh. If a turtle lost his shell, is he naked or homeless? I mean, I think he's both. But if you had to pick one. If you had to pick one. I would say he's naked. I'd say he's naked. Because you can get another apparatus to get within. But but think about it. You get a box. And like, even when you don't have the shell, you're still like, inhabiting somewhere. Mm -hmm. Like turtles live in the wild. I agree with you. That's an existential question. Ne negative, ne I mean naked. I don't think he's naked because, I mean, his body is his clothes. I mean, he's gonna be cold, he's naked. Yeah. That's like saying like a dog is naked. Chili turtle. That's like saying like a lizard is naked. Like, but no, they were born like that. They yeah. don't need anything else. Yeah, but it's still the same thing. No, it's not. It's naked. Now we are having an argument. Yeah, this is yeah, like, I see where it's going. Yeah. It's naked. What is one weird thing you guys do together that's only acceptable and understood if you're in the group? That's part one of the question. Probably a uh, <laughs> monster trucking. <laughs> <laughs> we were monster trucking. Yeah, we yesterday, were. Yesterday. We did but monster Emily didn't know. Oh. Emily didn't know she was monster getting monster trucked. I monster right. trucked her really hard. <laughs> I mean, you, there's evidence. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. What is? What do you love most about each other? Oh man. Um, you guys go first. Um, this one always makes me laugh in like the most mm -hmm. awkward situations where I like, I might not be having like the best day ever, and. He like turns it all around and it's like complete 360 and like it, nobody has that, like hardly anybody has that power to do that. Cool. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. And this one, I just like, oh, I just like want her to be so successful in life and like I just feel like she's just got this like gumption behind her and like this like gut in her stomach of like, I can do anything. And like that's just really awesome to see. That's like one of my favorite qualities. About both of y'all. Yes, guys. My turn? Yeah. Okay, my favorite thing about Emily is... I got pretty deep. I love Emily's voice. It's oh. like... It like puts you in a trance. That's how she like gets you to be her friend. And she sings noses. you a song that's just like The Little Mermaid. It's one of her favorite movies. <laughs> um, I'm talking about Ursula though. <laughs> <laughs> she sings a song... Like, yeah. Like that? Yeah, you know, she puts a spell like on... Like Ariel, in the same way you became, we became friends. You sang it, I was like, I'm human, I don't have friends anymore. 
don't have anymore. I couldn't walk. Chanel, uh, probably that you're like the male to my female. <laughs> like she's like when we're like partners. <laughs> when like, we're like no at the gym, like you're like the male character, and I'm like the female character. I'm way more feminine than you are. And I think you're way more like masculine than I should be. <laughs> you should be. Yeah. Okay. I feel that like we're like we flip the script and everyone's like everyone's very confused. They're confused because they're like this girl is hardcore. <laughs> this guy's like over here. I see just, what like, you're saying now. You know, okay. putting like BB cream on him and gym and like <laughs> dying his hair. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel he's like, like talking about his hair. He's like, I don't know what I should do with my hair. Like, I feel like I and she's over here like. Hey, <laughs> And so I don't know, probably that we're just like, flip the script on that. My favorite thing about Alex, I would say is, like we talked about on the podcast, is just like your authenticity to yourself. You just are who you are. And that's my favorite, like when people are just truly living as themselves, that is my favorite characteristic in anyone. And I think you do that better than anyone that I know. And then Chanel, I would say your work ethic, because you truly are the hardest worker that I know. And, and I don't do anything. <laughs> You do, you do nothing really well. You just go hard at it. Yeah, really hard. <laughs> but no, you are the hardest worker that I know, and like, you are so humble. Like, you don't need anyone to validate what you're doing because you validate yourself. Thank you. I think that's really cool. I should have got deep, but it's okay. We yeah. need, we need it's some okay. lightheartedness in here. You oh, and then last part of that question: Who is the daredevil out of you three? Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's totally me. If you were reincarnated into an animal, what would it be? Mm. Not apparently a dinosaur. <laughs> Probably a panda. <laughs> a panda? <laughs> yeah. Because when I'm sad, I always say I'm a sad panda. Like, oh, yeah. So I always want to be. So when I was like a kid, we used to do the dinosaur. I'm going to be a wolf. Mm -hmm. Probably. No, but really, I would probably be a lion. Does pineapple belong on pizza? One. Well, you answer on three. One, two, three. No. no. Yes. Most impactful pre-20 moment. Like before you were 20 years old, <laughs> most impactful was three. Bless you. Thank you. I would say probably meeting my real father when I was 16 because I didn't think I would. Yeah. So that was like a big like, mm -hmm. life's complete. Yeah, 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 that's a good one. Mm. Getting into college was like the biggest thing for me. So my pre-20, uh, getting deferred, meaning not accepted initially to a college, and then later, after I was already ready and set to go to another college, I was like lastly accepted, so I just had to like flip the script on everything and like move really fast to get like what I wanted in life, and like it just kind of taught me like you, you just have to like put your foot down and like do everything to get done, and like had I not gone to the school that I really wanted to, I just don't think that I would have a, the education that I wanted, um, the friends that I got to have during that time, the experiences, I wouldn't have met my husband. Like there was just a lot of things like I was meant to go to that school and like if I had just been like, no, I don't wanna take care of all this or I'm not gonna do it in time or just made excuses or shift my feet around, like it just wouldn't happen. And like the whole course of my life, I think after that would have changed like drastically. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was a big one. Yeah, that's kind of similar. Mm -hmm. I would say, if you guys don't know, mm -hmm. fix me. But uh, my, I actually left college the first after my first semester. I started out at Miami of Ohio in Oxford. Absolutely hated it there. Literally decided in the car. Yeah, yeah. Um, but on, I was literally on the way back to campus from winter break in the car with my dad, and I just broke down crying. I was like, I'm not going back. I'm not doing it. And so I just decided right then and there that I wasn't going back. And like that just taught me like listen to your gut. If something doesn't feel right, don't do it. And so I ended up taking that next semester off because it was too late for me to enroll anywhere else. I just worked and that was actually the first bikini competition I ever did was that spring. So like, that's when I just truly really started to fall in my heart. Okay. I don't watch Friends, so I don't know the answer to that question. Which Friends character would you be? Do you know Friends? Yes. No. Okay, you guys can tell me what character I would be. I'm like a friends. mix. I think I'm Phoebe. Yes. 
and Chandler mixed together in one. And Chandler? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yes. What part of me is Chandler? Just like your sense of humor and like your spontaneity, like and spontaneous sense of humor. I'm definitely like a Monica. A Monica. Yeah. Yeah. You're I'm Monica. Monica. I know. You like things in order. I like. And you're you're loud when it comes to. Yes. It. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you if you're not in order with your life. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. I don't know, Rachel. A mixture of Rachel and Monica, because she's got like that aura about her that's like more Rachel, but like she's got like what is this aura? She's got her shit in line. Like Rachel's like the like adventurous, adventurous one in fashion, um, like just like more out like kind of got a jack of all trades. Like Monica, or like she did a lot of she had like a job in fashion. She had a job as a barista. She had a job. At, she did one other thing too. But she just was like, she had like a lot of trades and a lot of like interests and hobbies and like she was always she was like also pretty, pretty innocent too. Yeah. Didn't live much until that point. Yeah. Show. yeah. You're true. pretty innocent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What is your number one guilty pleasure song you know all the lyrics to? Country Grammar by Now. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely Country Grammar by Now. Okay. I say Skater Boy by Avril Lavigne. Oh. Fun fact, my best friend and I, the one that called me today to show me her new dog, we tried to sing that for the talent show in third grade and they wouldn't let us because she talked about being at home with her baby all alone. And they thought that was inappropriate because she was a single mother. I know a lot of songs. So we sang uh, Hillary Duff and said. Yeah, so what's your guilty pleasure song? Like, which one do you have to listen to when, like, oh, either times get tough, you're two, getting down, or... Two, and they were both played at the wedding last night. Oh, no. Love Shack and I Want to Dance with Somebody. Oh! Yeah, yeah, I always get emotional when I sing, see it, <laughs> when I hear I want to dance with somebody because I'm like, oh my god, I'm so single and alone. Yeah. I want to dance with somebody. Those two songs can just put me in the best mood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yoon, yes, how much do you love me on a scale from people hogging all the way to a brand new Louis Vuitton? Yoon, I love you enough <sighs> to great. carry my suitcases a mile and up multiple flights of stairs. I still want to meet him. You, needs, you need to come to Louisville. Yeah. I know you watch. Yeah. Come to Louisville. Do it. Do it. Yeah. We're calling you out, Yoon. Yeah. You've been called. Ooh, this is so sticky. I mean, I'm kind of still wet. On <laughs> <laughs> Jared's not even here. Wow. Are you and King Carnivale dating, or is he just a friend? Or am I going to be the only nosy follower who is wondering this? No, we're not dating. Um, I can vouch for this. Oh, God. I'm pausing. <laughs> third eye, Paul. Yeah, no, eye, we're just friends. I actually, I asked her out. A oh year yeah. Ago. Yeah, we'll be uh, completely born. <laughs> yeah. But we're just gonna be friends, yeah. and it works out because I would rather have her as a long-lasting friend. Oh, we don't want to get but, together. But no, get she's pretty awesome. Um, Thanks, Marie. Yeah. I'm my best friend. Worked out. Mm -hmm. It did. It put me in the middle for a little bit, but I'm good. Cool. It was at a really bad time. Like, really bad time. Because I was literally leaving to go home that day for Christmas and the folks model search. And I yeah, was you very were, overwhelmed. You were, you were, I remember a lot even, going on. Like, it was, you had so much going on. Mm -hmm. It was a bad time. Like, I feel like if one more domino, like, Woo! went in one direction, it was going to be like, Woo! My life up in flames. Yeah. But exactly, she holds up for dominoes. But. Um, this that was actually the only time I've ever asked anyone out. So it was like a big deal for me oh! to actually just like do it. Because everyone was just like, you just have never asked anyone out. Like you should just do it, whether or not like anything happens. And I was like so proud of myself that I actually verbally said that. So anyways, you've after you've always so, been asked out? Uh I never dated anyone. <laughs> hmm. But um it is out of you. let's be friends now. Yeah. I'm glad I could be your first ask out. Still the only one. Great. Yeah. I have plans for who he's gonna marry anyway. It's fine. Feel your face now. Oh. Soft. Yeah. Yeah. Is it's it all off? You got a little. little Alright you guys, so that has been the non-fitness Q&A with my two best friends. If you want to see the second half of the Q&A, just go to the Shayla Lady right here's channel. We're gonna put the second half on her channel. <laughs> I don't know where we're going with that. If you like this video, <laughs> give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Yeah, yeah. this whole time. <laughs> you knew you would do a face pass? Hi, dear.
Hi. How am I a man and I don't have a Adam's apple? Yeah, you do. It's right there. I don't know where the third eye is either. Me. Alright. Alex, go ahead and. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Best and worst first dates. If you don't have any kids, have you ever been? You've been on a date. Mm, I can think of some bad situations. They're really too raunchy for this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would say like, my worst first date was the one where I got stood up. In yeah, LA. that would be really bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's really bad. Yeah, that's not. I mean, if like, you're watching this, I'm calling you out. <laughs> I'm over it. But, 